Good morning and welcome to your daily weather briefing for South Texas. Today is Sunday, October 27th, 2013. I'm meteorologist John Metz and here are your weather headlines for the week ahead. After a foggy morning, expect partly sunny skies, a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms, especially across the northeast coastal bend. Then, somewhat of a wet week ahead, with the next cold front coming through either Thursday or Friday, Above normal temperatures expected this week, then cooler next weekend behind the front. We'll also provide an update on the Nueces River flood and lake levels at Lake Corpus Christi. Here's your morning satellite imagery. Line of showers and thunderstorms was moving across Arkansas, Louisiana, and southeast Texas and was located just northeast of the Victoria area. It'll be stormy over this part of the state this morning. Some of this rain could move into south central and south Texas today. The fog that's blanketed much of the coastal bend this morning should dissipate by mid-morning. Here's the latest radar imagery showing the area of showers and thunderstorms that were moving across southeast Texas. Most of the heaviest rains will stay along the upper coast, but a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms are possible along the coastal bend this afternoon. So after some morning fog, sunshine will heat temperatures up into the mid to upper 80s across the area, near 90 out west. There is a moderate risk for rip currents along the coast due to long period swells. For tomorrow's weather map, area of low pressure will develop in the Texas Panhandle, which will cause a southerly flow across south Texas and temperatures to warm up. The winds will pick up Tuesday and Wednesday ahead of the next front with this area of low pressure developing again in the panhandle. A disturbance moving through the region will, will cause a chance for showers and thunderstorms across much of the state on Wednesday and then ahead of a cold front on Thursday. That front will be moving into the area Thursday ahead of Halloween. There could be scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area and possibly during the evening so we'll have to watch the weather closely especially if you're going trick-or-treating this Thursday night. The front then should move through the area by Friday morning with much drier conditions developing in its wake, although a chance for showers and thunderstorms will ride along the front, especially out over the Gulf waters. Rainfall totals this week expect anywhere from a half of an inch over the southern portions of the area to up to one and a half inches across the northern portions of the coastal bend. Looking at the Noasis River, just an update on the river upstream from Lake Corpus Christi. Noasis River near Tilden is now below major flood stage and will remain in moderate flood through most of this week. The Noasis River near Three Rivers is now below major flood stage as well and will fall below flood stage by Thursday. All this water is flowing into Lake Corpus Christi and the lake levels continue to rise. The lake is now approximately 80 percent of capacity and up to 91.4 feet as of around 8 o'clock this morning. The lake should be near full capacity by around the middle of the week. There are some releases occurring from Lake Corpus Christi. Water releases of around 2,000 cubic feet of water per second continue at the lake. No additional increases are expected. This is causing some rises on the Noises River downstream at Bluntser and Cal Allen, where the river is expected to remain below flood stage. This concludes your daily weather briefing. Thanks for watching and have a great day.